Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today we have another Capture One Quick Edit. So, I have this photo here that I took quite a while ago, it was actually about 10 years ago now, in New York City. And it was from the top of the Empire State Building, the sun was going down, we had this lovely kind of sunset. But, um, it's quite flat, it's quite hazy, uh, contrast is pretty low on parts of it and you're kind of losing out some things. Um, this was shot on an old Nikon D90, so it's not exactly a low light king. And because it was a packed viewing gallery on the Empire State Building, couldn't exactly set up a tripod, so it was handheld as well. So it's not brilliant, um, but I think we can uh, do something with this and make it look a lot better. So let me start by doing some basics. So I'm going to bring the highlights down a little and I'm gonna bring the shadows up. And you see, when we bring the shadows up, this gets kind of, you lose the nighttime effect and we kind of want don't want to lose that. Um, so when I bring the shadows up, what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna bring the blacks back down. So what this does is it brings some details back into the shadows, but it also, it stops it from getting too bright and we still have a bit of contrast in this area. So that's not bad. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna add a bit of clarity to the overall image. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is um, I want to kind of tweak the colors a bit. So I'm, I'm going to go over to the color tab and I'm going to scroll down to the color balance tool. And this is this is one of my favorite tools in Capture One. <laughs> I love playing around with this. Um, and I'm just going to I'm just going to very slightly tweak some of the colors here. Okay, maybe. It's warm up mid-tones because we kind of want to keep the purples of the dusk but we don't want it to go too much in the shadows so I'm just gonna add a little blue into the shadows and kind of warm up the mid-tones a bit and maybe warm up the highlights as well so and we can play around with this a bit more once I've kind of got it to where we want and I can also use this slider here just to bring the blacks back down another little bit. And again, this is kind of slightly differently from the black slider in the HDR tool. So one of the things about Capture One is uh, a lot of the things work differently. So sometimes you might think it's the same function, but the, the algorithm will be slightly different. So you'll get a kind of a different result. So straight away, if I do a before and after, um, let me just switch this to full mode. So if I do a before and after, you can see already it's looking a lot better. So the other thing I want to do here is, you can see it's kind of getting quite hazy off into the distance. Um, so maybe we want to bring this down a little. So to do this, um, I'm going to use my dehaze layer. So if you haven't seen this before, I did a video a while ago uh, showing you how to make dehaze in Capture One. And since I wrote, since I made that video, somebody very kindly made a little uh, Apple script for doing this. So you can do it in one go and um, I have that on my website and I'll have a link in the description below so I'm just going to use that. Um, unfortunately if you're on a PC you don't have Apple script so you can't use this. So anyway the script is add dehaze layer. So that's going to add a new layer with all my dehaze settings. Now that's too much so I'm going to drop that down to 50%. Okay and then I'm just going to add a gradient because we only really want it the top part. So I'm just going to drag that down like so. Okay, so let me just toggle this on and off. So uh, you can see that is bringing back more detail into the sky and surrounding areas here. And that's looking a lot better. Uh, and now finally, the other thing I want to do is you can see it's quite dark down the bottom of the image here. And that's because I was right at the kind of the edge of the wall. And there's kind of like a little bit of a shadow of that um, creeping into the, the corner of my lens. Uh, you can't really see it because it's totally out of focus, but it's actually darkening the image a bit. So I'm going to add another layer and I'm going to add, use the gradient again, just, just this little bit here at the bottom. And then we'll go back over to our exposure tools and we just bring the exposure up just ever so slightly. And I can tweak the gradient a bit more as well. So yeah, that's looking better. Okay, so before do the flat boring image, and after, and that's a lot better. Now, the only thing that lets me down on this is uh, it's quite noisy. And again, I'm using a Nikon D90. I think this was at ISO 800, so it's not even that high ISO, but at the time that was 
about the best you could get from that camera. So if I zoom in here, you'll see it's quite noisy in the shadows. And I'm like Capture One's noise reduction is quite good. So if I just go back here and turn the noise reduction right down, you can see if I turn trash all down, you can see that's what it would look like. Uh, in some respect, it's almost better to have a little bit of grain. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reduce the noise reduction a little and I am going to put the threshold at about 50. So if I zoom back out now, I think that looks a little better with a little bit of grain in it, um, rather than kind of the heavy noise reduction. It's uh, because that noise reduction, it just it makes it look very kind of digitally. So it's like, it looks like it's been processed. Whereas this, if I zoom in, it's a little bit more natural. Um, with a little bit of grain in it. Now, obviously this is subjective and everybody's opinion is different. Um, some people might prefer it the other way with softened out, but I actually prefer it with a little bit of noise in it, a little bit of grain, because it's, it's kind of more natural. Okay, so that is pretty much it. Again, just let me see, there's before, there's after, and I will now cut to the full screen version of this in the video. And here is the finished image. So, I hope you found this useful. Um, if you want more quick tips like this, just let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.